Hello all, welcome to the series of binomial heap lessons. In the previous lesson, we had seen that what is a binomial tree, we had seen the definition properties and we had seen the binomial heap with the properties of the binomial heap. So we had taken the definition binomial tree in the previous lesson, we had seen the example structured properties, we had seen the example of binomial heap and uh, we had talked about binomial heaps uh, definition, the example, another definition, and we had seen the example of the binomial heap. And we had seen that uh, what are the operations that can be performed on the binomial heap. And today we will talk about these operations. So let's see, uh, before talking about these operations, let's talk about the linked list or linked node representation of the binomial heap. Here, each node of the binomial heap n has a following fields can be represented as a node of the linked list and the binomial heap can be represented as the linked list, linked nodes together. So each node has following fields. A field that is store its key, that is the value of uh, that node. A field that is stores the degree of n, at what degree the element is or the node is. Pointer that points to the parent of n. Another pointer that points to the leftmost child. And one more pointer that points to the sibling or to the right sibling of the node n. If n is the root node, then obviously the pointer of n will be a null as there is no uh, pan, uh, no parent of that particular node because the root node is null. So uh, if n has no children, then child of n will have a null. That means if there is no uh, child, so the pointer to the child node will be null. And if the rightmost child of that uh, parent, that is the sibling, if there is no sibling, then the sibling of n will be uh, nil. The root node of the binomial tree are organized in a linked list with increasing order of degree. This is called root list. So let's see an example how uh, the binary tree can be represented. You can see this is the uh, linked list representation of a binary tree. So you can see this is uh, one node where we have the key value 10 and the degree of the node as 0. And we can see there is no parent, so the parent uh, field is null and there is no child, so child field is also uh, null and we have a link to the sibling. So in the sibling, we can see this is another uh, BK, it's another binary tree uh, where we have the four nodes. You can see in the first node, we have key value as one. This is the degree of this node, this is two. There is no parent, but it has a child uh, node. So we can see this is the left node. So this is the left node with key value 12 with degree 1 and a child link. So this is the child node of this uh, node with key value 12. Child node is uh, with key value 18, degree 0. And it does not have any left node, neither the child node nor the right or sibling. So in this way, you can see each node is represented by a node with some uh, fields. This is the key value. This is the parent uh, parent link. This is the order or degree of the node. This is the left link, the child link and the right or sub sibling. You can see in this we have lots of uh, nodes. So this is how uh, this is another tree binary tree with uh, eight nodes. So this is how a binomial heap can be represented. This is binomial tree. Binomial heap can be represented by the help of linked list representation. Now let's begin with the first operation that is on the binomial heap, creation of binomial heap. To make an empty binomial heap, the make binomial heap uh, procedure is called. This is a simple procedure that allocates and returns an object where head of edge is equal to nil. We can see the procedure. We allocate the memory for edge then we assign the head of h as a nil and then we return the binomial heap. So this is a simple uh, procedure and with the time complexity of order of 1. This is called as the constant time complexity. If we have to uh, 
create the non-empty binomial tree, non-empty binomial heap. In that case, we perform a make binomial heap procedure and we use union binomial heap procedure. So we will see union heap uh, binomial procedure later. The next operation on the binomial heap is finding minimum key. So for that, we use a procedure binomial heap minimum. This returns the pointer to the node with the minimum key in an n node binomial heap, minimum key value. Since we have already studied a property of the binomial heap, that heap is a heap ordered, that is min heap ordered. So obviously, the minimum key must reside in a root node. So what we need to do is we need to identify the root list and you can see this is the example of the binomial heap and we can see even in this tree the minimum key is on the top in this uh, binomial tree also the minimum key is on top and even in this binomial tree the minimum key is on top so we can see that uh, the minimum key element will reside in this link list in the link list of uh, top root node so we will be finding the minimum element from these only let's go back and see the uh, simple algorithm for that so we use the uh, head of h and we store it in a new variable let's say x and we store the key of the first element in the min variable so we are storing the key of the first element in the min variable that means uh, the x is pointing to this first node and the key of this first node that is 5 so right now in the min we have 5 then uh, we uh, traverse further for that we use the sibling of x and then we store the sibling of x's pointer into x so what is the sibling of x here you can see the sibling of x is 17 so now uh, this is pointing to 17 now we'll run the loop till x is not equal to uh, nil that means till we have root nodes in the list we'll continue our loop from here to here then here to here and so on till we uh, have some roots we'll continue the loop now we'll compare the key value of x now you see that x is pointing to the sibling of the first node so now x is pointing to this second node that is the sibling of the first node uh, now we need to compare that if minimum key value is uh, greater than the key of x that means the key of x is now smaller in that case we need to perform a swap and we will swap the key of x to the min variable. So now let's see. Uh, here we have 5 in the min. Now the x is pointing to this node. The key value to this node is 17. Now we compare this 17 with the min value that is 5. And we can see this is not smaller. So now min will not perform a swap. And in the min we still have 5. And then we will substitute this uh, x value into the y. So we will... Uh, keep this into y so now y will have uh, the new pointer and we'll end if uh, this is completed that is we reach to the end node and finally uh, we again traversing we are moving forward that means we are shifting from this node to the next node in the linked list of the root nodes so now the next element will be 12 in the min we still have 5 we again compare 5 with 12 and we can see again the 5 is a smaller so min will not be changed and finally uh, we will see that in the min we have uh, this uh, 5 so this 5 will be returned and in this way we could find out the minimum key value from the key let's see once again with the example in the min we'll have this uh, key value of first node in the min then we'll move to the next node this is 17 will be compared with the min value it's not smaller so we'll move further this is 12 12 will be compared with the min value 5 it's again not smaller and now we do not have any further root nodes in the list so we'll end the loop and finally 5 will be returned so this is the minimum key value in the binomial heap that will be returned by the algorithm so this is the minimum key operation the next operation is the binomial heap union that we'll study in the next lesson of the binomial heap. Thank you so much.